good with it in the hood with it. Welcome back to the Collective Clips where you already know we get it in. But before we get it in, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Bing! Put your notification bell on all so that way you're directed in the direction of the dope content I am kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support, man. We're going way up on this channel and it's all because of you. And for that, you already know, man, the gun is very humbled, man. I highly appreciate all the support that I get, man. Um, believe that. I don't disregard anyone. Anyone who comes and supports me, Thank you, man. For reals. Gracias. Now, trip out. Um, I was asked the other day to do a video on one Jay Williams, right? Now, I'm not going to lie. Jay Williams, shit is popping. His channel, when it comes to the prison genre and telling his stories, um, is, is above the rest. And reason being is this guy stands on what he says. He's verified, certified, and just has some good content you know when it comes to the youtube prison genre you can pretty much decipher who's sticking their hand up their asshole and who isn't right Wes watson and and it's up to the people to interpret and adapt to what's real what's what's not and what they enjoy you know it's all entertainment at the end of the day and we could tell you war stories and people could nitpick them and we could flip them strike them reverse it and do it any which way at the end of the day man it's up to what you decide you want to listen to now, when it comes to Jay Williams, I definitely am tapped into his channel. I watch him. And it was very unfortunate to see the other day. Um, I hadn't tapped in for a while, but when I did, because I enjoy his content, that he was looking at some incarceration. Now, subsequently, since then, he got locked up, right? Now, the details of his charges, what he's locked up for, as long as it's a righteous charge, um, it's not my business. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and spit propaganda and tell you exactly detail out for you what he got locked up for let's just say he got incarcerated he's in prison right and he fought this case for a while now it's unfortunate that he had changed his life was heading in a different direction was using this youtube platform and the content he's creating to do something different you know this affords you the opportunity to reflect back it's kind of like medicine or therapy for some of us that were institutionalized have ptsd or were incarcerated and done plenty of time in prison it helps to express, you know, it's kind of like telling a war story to my celly. That's how I look at it. You know, I used to do this for free. And now if I can get a little bit of a bag out of it and help people, um, why not? You know, I got to help myself and help people to help myself and then help myself to help people. So we're going to, everyone's getting helped at the end, you know, um, and this is what Jay Williams was doing. But unfortunately, life puts monkey wrenches in your asshole. Wes Watson, right? No ditty. And when a, when a monkey wrench gets thrown in the game or you choose to, you know, go uh, back into that uh, addictive behavior or gang related behavior or criminal behavior, then you have to pay the piper. You have to fucking deal with the consequences. And in this case, Jay Williams found himself caught up and now he's locked up. Now, this guy that wanted me to do this story he or do this content, he asked me, he said, you know, what's going to happen to Jay Williams? Well, to be totally honest with you. First of all, he's a wood brother. And as long as he has money for coffee and coffee for money, he'll be all right. Um, based on he's not from California, it's a little bit different. See, the politics are different in every other state. So Jay Williams is going to go in and he's going to act accordingly, accordingly to where he's at, the state he's from. Now, as long as he has a good name, <clears throat> excuse me, as long as he has a good name, um, he's righteous in, in his cases, doesn't have a bad case, nothing that'll sneak up and piggyback from the, from the past, he should be all right. You know, he has a little bit of a, a little bit of a different flavor from your traditional wood brother that I'm used to. You know, in California, the woods, the white men, they carry themselves a certain way and to a certain standard. Now this area where Jay Williams is from, which is, I believe, Richmond, Virginia, um, it's a whole different thing. You know, it's not, I would believe, not as racial seg racially segregated um, because I could tell just by the attitude and the, the you know, the way that Jay conducts himself. Um, he's not really into that. He's not biased or racist towards people or has a, pre a, a prejudice bone in his body. He does him, man. He takes care of his family. Um, he's worried about his and his only. Now, um, whatever happens to him in there because he is a content creator, um, that's something he's going to have to find out. I can't speak on that because, again, I'm not from that state. And like I said, politics are different everywhere. So I don't know what's going to happen. I do know this for sure. You know, it's a hindrance to his family. It's a hindrance to his channel and what he's got going on. But he's got some good, solid people, a good circle around him that are keeping his name going, um, looking out for him because they feel not indebted to him, 
by the fucking shit that he speaks, but they just like his rhythm, man. And he's met some good friends along the way. So I'm sure his outside will be taken care of while he has to take care of what he does on the inside. Now, I did hear one thing that Jay Williams um, was able to finagle uh, a good deal, meaning that he's only going to have to serve seven months on his sentence. But not only that, he's going to get work release where he's out from 7, uh, 7 a.m. in the morning to 7 o'clock at night. And then you turn yourself in. You basically sleep in the prison and you go back to work. and You do that six days a week. And then on Sunday, watch football. So that's what it is. So um, as long as he kick, you know, sticks to that program, does right by that program, he's going. Everything's going to see all right, cause now you have a content creator, C Mac, who just took a deal um, the other day, and in the feds, it's a little bit more tricky dance moves compared to the state, because in a in, in a in the federal system, you know, he took a dummy deal. Basically, he admitted guilt to you know uh, being in possession of a firearm and ammunition that. What I'm hearing didn't even work, right? Um, and they can start compiling everything from the past on you. He can get a career, a criminal. He can get, you know, enhancements because he's had prior gun charges or whatever the case may be. Um, it could not work out in his best interest. It could work out at a point where that man is given the, the, the maximum sentence of 15 years, you know? And the feds don't fuck around. They're handing out fucking years like they're handing out Jolly Ranchers in a woman's facility to make dildos. It's just all bad. Okay, um, my prayers are with that guy and I hope everything's going to see all right, cuz, but I'm not sure at this point it is, you know, cuz anything after 10, ooh, is ugly, especially nowadays. Hey, don't even worry, Crip Mac, maybe the eclipse, uh, combined with the eclipse, what's going on with Diddy and fucking Wes Watson slamming shit up his asshole, we might have a big earthquake and the walls might come tumbling down and then you can come back to South Central. I said, everything's going to be fine. Now, <clears throat> what I wanted to elaborate on too was also... What happens to, say, myself and other California YouTube content creators, whether they're Mexican, Black, um, Woods Brother, right? Anybody that finds theirself on the short end of the law's dick, right? And they get locked up. What's going to happen? Okay, well, there's no sugar coating or added preservatives here. I'm going to give it to you uncut raw, whether it makes me look fucking guilty or not. Um, I'm going to tell you guys the truth. So when it comes to Mexicans... North or South, content creators in the prison genre, if we're to be incarcerated and locked up, it's uh-oh spaghetti -o. E pobre si. It's a bad look. It's a bad situation. Let's just be totally honest here. There's a lot of people on the inside that runs the outside that don't enjoy um, these war stories, don't enjoy the politics being spoken on or certain group organizations being spoken on or anything being spoken on. You know, there's always been an unwritten rule or not even unwritten, just told to you straight up that Norteños and Southsiders or any Mexicanos, man, that are in the criminal element and the street element, not to be seen on camera, not to be doing interviews, not to be speaking on anything gang related. You don't speak on what you're not supposed to spoke on. That's just a, that's the truth and the fact of the matter. Now, a lot of us that were incarcerated that are no longer associated or affiliated and have them gang ties, we choose to tell our story. We choose to speak on what we speak on and we know at the end of the day, man, there's already guys that don't like us. It's already all bad. Most people are no longer in the best of standings. So it's up to them to speak on what they want to speak on. Now, there's certain things I will and will not say. And that's just based on I have integrity, I have class, morals. And also, man, I know better. Okay, I don't want to dig my hole deeper than it already is. Six feet. Okay, I'm smart enough to understand that you don't put other people's business out there. You don't disrespect other people by speaking on something you shouldn't. Now, there's other content creators that go a little bit further than others. There's other content creators that go out of the box or just say whatever they feel like saying. And to each man their own. It doesn't make them bad. It doesn't make them good. It makes them crazy in some instances. But we've all touched on similar situations or things that we probably shouldn't have. Um, or we said a little too much as far as, you know, speaking on a story. And you have to understand a lot of these stories we tell, if it's not strictly about yourself or your family or your friends or immediate people in your circle, um, there might be someone that has a family member that feels a certain way about that or someone who feels disrespected when you didn't try to disrespect them and they feel a certain way about that. And best believe, Holmes, when they catch up to you, it's going to be curtains. It's going to be all bad. They're going to feel some type of way and get off where they're mad at. That's understandable. So what happens with California content creators, Mexicans, first and foremost, you're in trouble. 
Okay, let's be totally honest. You're not going to be a content creator that's speaking on the prison genre and then be able to walk the general population mainline yards. It is not going to happen. I don't give a fuck what you say, how you try to twist it and turn it. Um, if you are, and, th and this is the cool part too, because there's a lot of guys that swear that they're active still or swear that they're still in good standings and they, perhaps they might be. You know, I'm not here to fucking, to shit on anyone's fucking shingle. Um, this ain't the SOS. I'm not here for any of that, but I am here to tell you the truth. The moment that they allow people on their platform to start speaking on prison politics or talking about gang related issues, they're just as susceptible as that person to what may come. Okay, people feel a certain way about it. This is just point blank straight up. So them individuals are liable just like them. It's just like if someone goes into 7-Eleven and shoots the clerk and the homie comes out and you jam, you're going to get that murder charge too because you were the driver, even though you didn't know about it. Um, that's how it is. Your guilt, it's called guilt by association. The birds of the feather flocked together and now it's a gaggle of bullshit that you have to deal with. Don't step in that shit, right, brother? You're in trouble. Okay, so when it comes to the Mexicans, I could speak... For the North, not the South, I could tell you right now, it's going to be bad for me. If I was to get locked up, this is my program. Take flight, take flight, take a whole lot of flight. Because anywhere they would want to put me, whether it be an SNY yard or a general population yard, I'm going to go wherever they tell me I got to go. And I'm going to have issues wherever I go because there's going to be people that I feel don't like me. So I'm already of the understanding, man, I have to se properly secure myself. See, that's one good thing about not being affiliated with the gang or having to associate with anyone like that. I'm on my own, like a Patti LaBelle song, right? And like Michael McDonald walking down that beach, butt naked, fucking hella sad. I'm going to do what I have to do, right? And what I had, what, what I would have to do um, is take flight immediately if I feel that there's a threat posed to me, period. Doesn't matter what yard they put me on. Now, will I go and say, oh, I can't, I'm, I'm Gunner's Collective. You can't put me over there because I have issues. That's never going to come out of my mouth. Put me where the fuck you're going to put me and I'm going to deal with how I got to deal with it. That's it. Plain and simple. It doesn't make me hard or it doesn't make me more gangster. It, it makes me uh, have to rethink some things and do what I have to do. And yes, Wes Watson, I'm going to have to pull something out of my asshole at that point. Um, but it is what it is. You know, that's the truth. Now, a lot of the guys that swear that they're still active and they're still part or affiliated with something. Hey, if you're under the illusion or the assumption that you're all good because Sosa said so... Um, go ahead. Let's see how that works out for you. Okay. Now these little rappers that do interviews, um, you got to understand they're trying to push their product. Um, some of them have been towing that line in between gang related issues. And again, they will have to pay their piper. Now, as far as the North, if you notice, you don't see too many Northern rappers do these interviews. I mean, it was such a big deal when lazy boy did it on no jumper the other day. Just because, and that's why I was shocked, because I know that Adam was going to try to ask some gang-related questions um, and put him in a bind. Now, he did carry himself well and did answer the questions accordingly, but at the same time, I'm sure there's people that feel a certain way about it. It's just how it is, man. You'll never know what's going on until you get locked up behind the walls. Hopefully, no one has to go through that and no one finds themselves in that situation because at the end of the day, that situation right there becomes a real fucking toe-back situation. Um, but that's what happens. Now, when it comes to the brothers, the black, the elephant in the room, right? <laughs> when it comes to the brothers, man, um, they wiggle a little bit different. Their political stance on certain things is a little different. You know, depending on if you're a Crip or a Blood or a Kumi or, or a non-affiliated brother, man, or, or a, a Muslim, you know, these are the predominant groups when it comes to the brothers. You're going to, um, and I'm talking about in California, you know, because I know there's GDs and, and Vice Lords and and all that from Chicago and New York and the Midwest, um, and they wiggle differently. I'm talking about the state of California here. Um, if these guys are to get incarcerated, you know, it's kind of up to the rep on that yard what exactly happens if they're feeling a certain way. Now, obviously, we've seen um, uh, C-Mac, you know, he went to prison as a content creator and didn't have no issues. Now, again, he was on a 50-50 yard, um, but he didn't have any issues. You know, no one tripped on him, supposedly or allegedly, because he was a content creator and because he spoke on things. But again, Crip Mac wasn't really part of the prison genre. He was more part of the J-Cat genre, just all over the place with it. So I could see where he would have his Crippin issues, but not his issues. I'm talking about prison genre content creators. People that speak on gang-related issues. These are the ones that are going to have issues and problems, man. That's a fact. Okay, when it comes to the woods, well, brother, you ain't no good. I don't care how much coffee you have. I don't care how many bags of kefi you have. 
If you're a white content creator, man, speaking on prison situations from the state of California and you get locked up, they're going to probably whack you. Okay? There's been situations where a few guys, Wes Watson, brother, have spoken on stories and gotten people more time. Or Powder, man, from a Peni, who, um, you know, told a few stories and a few, a few people got indicted behind them stories. You know, in them situations, it's real life. We're talking about a guy losing his life or a person losing years, you know, over a story that was told uh, for content purposes for a measly fucking 150 bucks, right? It's just not worth it. Okay. That's why before you say what you have to say, you have to really think about what you're going to say before you say it. Read between them lines. I said real fast. Say it three times. Because at the same time, you need to understand that when you're speaking about other people or speaking on their names without getting the knowledge that you couldn't get in college, asking them permission to do it, you need to understand that, man. You have to keep that line real smooth. You can't just go blabbing everything about someone else because you don't know, like I said, who their family is or how it's going to affect them. And best believe there's always going to be somebody watching, man, that has something to say about something to say. And that's how it all gets ugly, man. And eventually, if the authorities feel that they have something new, some type of shred of evidence that they could compile onto this person that's still activated and doing their thing in prison, they're going to do that. And it's going to be all because of what you said, man. And that if you think people are not going to feel some type of way about that, then you don't bump your head three times I said, and say that fast. Now, um, I already know how it would be for myself. I can't speak for anyone else, man, because funnier shit has happened. You know, I've seen dudes that have bad cases, dudes that um, were not righteous, that told on people in the past or just different things in the yard be able to function and walk the yard, whereas some little young homeboy that just didn't make his bed right get fucking sliced up from his asshole all the way to the top of his forehead. You know, it just depends on who you are, where you're from. Yes, believe, best believe dirty macking comes into play. Best believe individualism and homeboy favoritism does come into play in prison. It's just how it is. Um, this social media thing is a whole different animal now. You know, we haven't had someone really get incarcerated and get whacked yet. And we always hear the stories about what would happen, what could happen, what should happen. But it hasn't quite happened yet. But I'm under the assumption, and I already know, man, that if I was to get locked back up myself, not anyone else, me, it's going to be bad. It's going to be a bad situation. People are going to feel some type of way, and I'm going to get off. And that's it, over and over and over again. I'm going to fucking handle my business because I'm not um, dumb enough to think, man, or be rocked to sleep. Okay, my awareness is very up and my antennas are going. Now, with Jay Williams... Beans that he's from a different state, beans that um, um, he's a white man from that state and their politics are just a little different. I think he's going to see all right because I think he'll be fine. He'll be able to do his time, get right back out and get right back into the rhythm of this YouTube shit. And I hope the best for his family and for his friends and for everyone around him, his circle, because it's unfortunate. But it's part of the game. You know, people are we're, we're real humans. We live life. Nobody's perfect. Just because you watch the videos and they're funny and have a good time, when the fucking camera goes off, you know, I got to go pay bills. I got to take care of my kids. I got to work, man. I got, you know, to go air my tires up. I got to, you know, go to Costco. I got shit I have to do. And at any point in time, I could run into the wrong element of person and we're going to get off. We're going to get off where we're mad at, man. If they're posing a threat, well, then guess what? The threat's posed. Um, am I looking for that type of attention or looking for that type of drama? Absolutely not. And that's why I kind of try to keep my stories to myself or speak on certain things and don't speak on certain organizations and, and certain people's programs. Just based on, you know, when I first started out, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I was a little bit more uh, flamboyant with it and, and kind of just trying to, you know, uh, find my niche in my lane. And I think I've done that. And I think people appreciate that. And I'm going to stick to it. Um, but yeah, you know, that's what happens with California. Uh, uh, what happens with California YouTubers if they go to prison? Um, they're going to get smoked, Tommy. You know, they're going to get smoked. And I don't give a fuck, like I said, if you try to act like you're in good standings or or it's all good or you're you're very well respected on YouTube. None of that shit matters because if you run into the wrong person in the yard that feels a certain way about something you said, it could be that quick. And you're not going to see it coming. You know, and if you're dumb enough to think it's all good in the hood, you're not going to see it coming. You know, they're going to make sure, man, that you think everything is smooth and then one day you're going to go out to the yard and that day you're not going to come back from the yard. That's how it is. You're going to be in a medical facility right there, breathing out of a tube uh, with Danny Masterson trying to jack you off. It's ugly. Anyways, with that being said, um, I got a double banger coming today. Um, I know everybody's been pressing me and they and they love the videos on my primo, Super Norteño, which we've now kind of turned into a series. I think we're on part six 
Um, and we're going to get to it. That's coming on Monday, man. Bright and early. Make sure that you guys are up. You're strapped in. You got your coffee, brother. And you're ready to go. When it comes to uh, what I got going on today, because yes, I got double Bangladeshis coming on. Um, you guys ready for a bedtime story? Ooh, it's been a minute, huh? Very, very, very funny. Let's get it, right? With that being said, you know, I just want to say one more thing. For the people that are content creating, watch what you say, man, and how you say it. You never know who's on the other side of that door. You never know how an issue or how you conduct yourself can catch up to you. We all know what happened with Savage Studios, man. Rest in peace to that individual um, a while back. Whether it was things that he said, bones that he picked, or something that caught up with them from the past, ultimately, man, um, he was he was murdered. He was killed. And, um, you know, he was a content creator. He didn't even have to go get incarcerated uh, to find himself on the end of the AK, right? It just happens. That's life. Um, and nobody wants that, I don't think. You know, so you watch what you say and you treat people with respect. And that's all the advice I can give you. And that's how I try to carry myself. So, man, as far as Jay Williams, he's going to be all right. As far as C-Mac, well, cuz, I don't know what to tell you, brother, right? And as far as everybody else, well, the inside controls the outside. And it's totally up to you to figure out what you're going to do when you get on the inside. Hopefully nobody gets locked up. I don't see any incarceration in my future. Um, just based on I try to stay out the way way. People, oh, you're in the house. You're scared. You don't want to... Damn right. I'm watching WrestleMania. Boom. Eating nachos, drinking a pisto, relaxing with my children, doing what a man is supposed to do. But I take care of my business homes. I'm out there. With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming. And remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the strive to struggle, the struggle to strive. I'm going to continue to do what I does, man, and try to help people by telling them my bullshit so they can avoid their bullshit. That's what it is. You already know, man. This is the gun. Bang, bang.